On the very next day, on 10th May 1857, they started a war on the Firangis. All the arms and the ammunitions were set to fire, the buildings were set on fire and all those who had been made prisoners were released. Thus, they had had a major victory on 10th May 1857. But they did not stop here. They started moving towards Delhi. That is, it was a march from Delhi to, it was a march from Meerut to Delhi. And they rode all night of 10th May and reached the early morning at Red Fort. But before that, they did another good job and that job was they repeated the same thing in Delhi. That is, they joined hands with the soldiers at Delhi and again the arms and ammunition and the buildings were set to fire and the officers were surprised at what they were doing. The situation had gone out of control and now they moved towards the Red Fort where Bahadur Shah Zafar was residing. Bahadur Shah Zafar was unwilling to actually join the rebellion, but the Indian soldiers moved forcibly into the Red Fort and convinced the Bahadur Shah Zafar that this was necessary and after the defeat of the Britishers, Bahadur Shah Zafar would be proclaimed the Emperor of India. This gave him the encouragement and also made him interested in the rebellion and thus he wrote letters to all the chiefs and rulers of India. And he requested them to come and join the rebellion. This changed the entire situation in India. Because when they got the letter from Bahadur Shah Zafar, they realized that the call of the Mughal emperor had come and it was a time when all the petty rulers and chiefs should join the rebellion and make it a huge success. So Bahadur Shah's decision to bless the rebellion by writing letters to the chieftains turned the situation. It was a time now where everybody joined hands against the Britishers. The small rulers felt that is their selfish interest was that they had been ruling independently on behalf of the Mughal authority for the past so many years. That is after the death of Aurangzeb they had slowly become independent. So they felt that once the Britishers are out of India they would regain their independence and rule in the same manner as they were doing earlier. So this made the entire country unite against the Britishers. And here we see that the Britishers who had thought that the incident of the cartridges at Meerut would slowly die down did not take that shape. Instead, it picked up a big rebellion shape. It picked up actually to become the first war of Indian independence. And it is said that it turned out to be the biggest rebellion of that century against the Britishers of anywhere in the world. And here we see that the Britishers were surprised, bewildered, amazed as to how the Indians had united to fight against their common enemy, the Britishers.